I am a little bit intimidated by today's topic because I have to work on this tank made by Takayuki Fukada, double IAPSC champion. He did this uh, beautiful planted tank in March at the Green Aqua Gallery and we decided that we need to work on it a little bit. I'll tell you why. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Many of you are going to say that this is a nice tank. So why do you need to rescape it? Well, there are a number of reasons. The first reason is that I want to. We don't really like the background and this is not only my opinion and I know that most of you guys are going to be really happy with this tank in your home. We had a couple of problems with the setup since the beginning. First of all, the stems in the background here on the right and the left side, you see that they are not visible at all. Maybe some of those are visible on the left side, did not really want to grow. Then we started fertilizing with nitrogen and iron and we started adding root depths. So after a couple of months, the stems started to gain a lot more power and they started to grow like crazy. The second problem is the mosses. The mosses started to suffer a lot. We added two algae eaters in the tank and I think the Siamese algae eaters started to grease on the mosses as they always do. Then the foreground started to thicken. The rocks in the middle shifted a little bit and they started to touch each other so we added a small rock in the center to separate these two from each other. There's no longer an empty space in between the tips of the rocks. Now they're touching. Well, I cannot do anything about that. I'm trying to transform this into a low energy tank, which means that I'm gonna have to introduce a lot of hardscape in the back, and I'm gonna have to take out all the foreground, and I'm gonna have to replant the foreground to make it thinner and change the basic layout of the scape from a triangle central composition into a valley that has big rocks on this side and it's going downwards here. So I'm gonna do this scape, put a lot of hardscape on two sides. I asked Ozzy, one of the maintenance experts, to remove the fish and shrimp and all the livestock from this tank because I really wanted to start from scratch and to be able to take down all the water. As the first step, I'm gonna trim the uh, Hygrophila pinatifida, which is on the rocks. As the second step, I'm gonna remove all the uh, stem plants from the background by trimming them all the way down. Thirdly, I'm gonna remove the water and I'm going to remove the foreground. And from there, there on, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing, so <laughs> brace. This is the appetizer for the messy job that I'm gonna do later. So one, two, three, four patches. Right now, there's a continuous line all the way to the main rock at the left and continuing from the top of the right. It's just too much. You really need to rescape your tanks from time to time in order to be more clean, in order to be more fresh and to give a new look to the tank. Now that I finished tidying up the Pinotifida, I'm going to start with the stems. The stems will come out by being trimmed at the bottom 
at the uh, surface of the soil. After you trim the stem plants, you can replant the tops, obviously. I don't want to talk too much in this video, I'm just going to work. So I'm just asking our editor Peter, you hear me? That we need to have a lot of cinematic sections in this video. Okay, let's drain the water. You can see that the super glue is visible right there. Green Aqua has a new super glue now. I'm gonna link that in the description and we're gonna use that in this video. My next move is pretty bold. I'm gonna remove the foreground. Chubby's idea is to cut this with a knife because it's gonna take this whole thing to another level. This is the Monte Carlo that we saved and what we're gonna do with it is take a patch, take a small bunch, rinse it and prepare it for planting. And now I'm gonna move back to the hardscape room of Green Aqua and I'm uh, selecting all the big rocks that will cover this space here. I'm sorry for Kala-san, I really have to do this. This is my tank from now on and it has absolutely, it has the inspiration from the master but it's going to be a completely new tank. taking a break before the hard work, accumulating energy. Oh yeah, green tea. You find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be, a different side of me, yeah, yeah. You find a different side of me. Okay, I will need some ADA Amazonia and I'm gonna pour that in these cracks here and also need some fine filter mesh to protect the Amazonia from rolling forward, as usual. I can feel that you're changing me Day by day got me shedding skin Whoa. The layers have peeled away Got me moving through time and space your magic can be erased, can't be erased. You'll find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah, ee, ee, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need. A different side of me, yeah, ee, ee, yeah. to be a different side of me yeah it's a completely different style fukata sun's tank destroyed It's really easy to plant the uh, submerged Monte Carlo and it's going to survive and it's going to feel much better and it's going to establish itself much quicker.
the new green aqua glue doesn't even have a label. It's a test. So what do we do about the foreground? I could plant this here. Planting underwater, big patches of Monte Carlo, almost impossible. I've never had such hard time before with planting. Going inch by inch. What is this? Is this uh, Hemianthus micranthemoides or is this Rotala green? Rotala fucata. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know what that is, but we need, we need some more plants in the background. Okay, so let's use some Rotala green here, perhaps here, just to crawl out a little bit, maybe here and then here. I think we're ready. We're filling it up with water. This is a lot different from, from the original scape. We did this in three hours, guys. So this, this whole tweaking was done. Okay, I had help. Professionals, thanks. If you do like this, please hit the thumbs up button and hit the uh, subscribe button if you didn't do so yet, because we have many, many viewers who didn't subscribe to the channel. And you can support the channel by subscribing. And you can also support the channel by commenting, letting us know what you think. And you can also support the channel and the video production by becoming a channel member. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye. The new IQ test for aquascapers at Green Aqua. Point out the differences between the two layouts. <laughs>